affect the wrong neighborhood. News specialist Andrew Adams talked to a guy who has his neighbors covered. Andrew? You never know who's watching. Stealing a package, you can be in and out just like that. But with the surveillance camera, it's still not fast enough. It's uh, kind of the only way that I've found to fight back. Would-be thieves, beware. If you're anywhere near Adam Stone's house, you're being watched. I just got kind of paranoid and bought the camera system. I'm up to eight now on a constant loop. I've got about two weeks of footage at any given time. Stone says it all started with the theft of his bike. Just get that big, that big sinking feeling in your stomach. Agony, documented during a KSL investigation on bike thefts last year. Why'd you steal my bike? I just got frustrated and, and uh, started leaving a GPS under my bike seat. That frustration has been helpful to his neighbors. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Three guys came down the alleyway. Stone's cameras were rolling. They're just kind of tugging on handles as they come down, and then they get to his cars and spend a couple extra minutes with... Uh, something trying to get the door open the dome light comes on they're in stealing the neighbor says as much as two thousand dollars in property they proceed to check my neighbor's car and my roommate's car in uh in my driveway before ultimately running away car prowls car burglaries it's the most prevalent crime offense in salt lake city and police say hard to catch the culprits once they're gone even with surveillance video it's much more important that you be proactive about protecting your own property that is packages on the porch or your car from being burglarized. Speaking of packages on the porch, two young boys uh, come up the alleyway and uh, the youngest one decides to come over and steal it. Stone's surveillance cameras, apparently no deterrent. I'm kind of surprised. People look right at the camera and then come and steal stuff anyway. They don't, they don't really care. He's hoping somebody out there does, putting names to the nameless, who are often gone in an instant with stuff that isn't theirs. If you can't put a name to the face, then it's not really useful. Police have no leads in these cases. They obviously get a lot of them citywide. Stone says if anybody in the videos looks familiar to you, give Salt Lake City Police a call. Andrew Adams, KSL 5 News. Andrew, thank you. How about some good news on this Friday night? Wednesday